previously on Impact Vegas. It'd be a little thing with your closest friends. And Ashley. Do you plan on talking things out with Ashley? No. <laughs> she made it clear that she doesn't want to talk to me, so I let her have it. So you must want her ex, Ivy? Not on purpose. I mean, things happen. Oh, look at me having successful friends. Friends? Typical Ivy, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Ashley. You can act out in front of the cameras, but you and I both know you have never been a friend to me lately. This wasn't how I saw this planning out in my head. Well, I guess it got them talking. How do you feel about your relationship with Ivy now? I won't lose sleep. And me being with Carter was just the icing on the cake. As quick as she was to switch up on me, Ashley was never my friend. I don't believe you. And if I can't trust you, then I can't be with you. This has to be a joke. Carter Brooks and Ivy Green were seen cuddled up outside a coffee shop in Manhattan during New York Fashion Week. A close source stated that the two are definitely dating and are enjoying each other's company. Could this be 2024? It's not this couple. What the fuck? Guys never lie, even if they tell. Sweet that come with the smell of a dozen Hold on, I need a minute. Is this true? Yes. I just got to the link while filming. Like, out of all people, they would do this to me? I'm so f***ing upset. How embarrassing it is to have someone you consider a friend dating your ex. I don't think I can handle this at all. I'm trying so hard not to let them get to me. But I'm human. I'm so hurt. One, two, three. Well, how dumb do I look? Are you okay? Honestly, I I don't even really know what to say. As of right now? No, I'm not. I will be in the future. I eventually get over it. Even with Ivy and I having our issues, I would never expect things to turn out this way. Carter was dead to me, but Ivy might as well dig her own grave and lay next to me because she's most definitely dead to me now. have a reservation yes alani anthony and Jax maverick okay right this way i got my demons too i know just how you feel you can be real with me that's why you're still with me that was well needed i've been so busy working that i haven't had time to relax yeah, same. Have you talked to Ashley? Well, kinda. We've been texting back and forth, but I haven't spoken to her. I know Ivy introduced us, but I'm on Ashley's side. Yeah, that's fair. I know Ivy can be crazy and do unpredictable things, but I never thought something like this would happen. She was telling me about this boot in New York, and the whole time, it was Ashley's ex. And this is triggering for me when I'm going through issues with Malachi. This whole Ivy and Carter situation is weird. I have no problem telling that to Ivy's face. If she could do that to Ashley, who she called her friend, how do I know she wouldn't do that to me? The best you can do is not get in the middle. I know Ivy was wrong, but I promise I don't like to be in the middle of things when it has nothing to do with me. Why are you always defending her? Excuse me? Anytime it's something pertaining to Ivy, you always try to be the one to keep things neutral. Lala, she is wrong and she fucked up. I know that Jax, but she's my longest and closest friend. I should at least hear her out. Even though she did something like this to someone she called her friend, I don't know why Lala is so far up Ivy's ass, but it's starting to piss me off. Whatever I want to say to Ivy, I prefer to say it to her. Oh, cry me a river. Ivy is the common denominator in all her problems. Wrong is wrong. I don't care if you're my friend. I said what I said. If I want to say something about you, I'm going to say it to your face first, period. It's not about me defending Ivy. I believe she was wrong. And I'll tell her that when we see each other. We've heard rumors about Ivy doing this to another one of her friends. There's been rumors about that, yes. But I can't honestly say. You're the closest to Ivy out of the group. Wouldn't you know? I'm not the type to gossip. 
Now, if Ivy wants her secrets to come out, I'll prefer them to be spoken from her mouth. Just be careful, Lala. I don't want her to hurt you next. You're too good of a friend. Do you still consider Ivy your friend? Like, how can anyone be friends with a person that does that? Especially when she knew the trauma Carter put Ashley through? I'm good on Ivy. I'll keep my distance. So have you talked to Carter? Yeah, we talked briefly earlier. I hope they know this isn't your first time being in a scandal. <laughs> what scandal were you in prior? Um, <laughs> I mean, since it is out there in the public, yes, I did have a little fling with someone. It was this whole big issue because he was going through a divorce when we started seeing each other. And the world labeled me as a homewrecker. I'm honestly not bothered by the media. I've been in this life since I was born. Ain't none of this shit new to me. How do you think Ashley feels? She's probably hurt. She has every right to be. She's human. But what I'm not sorry for is what I'm doing. If I'm doing something, that's because I want to. Yeah, and you being her friend, she should know that about you by now. Exactly. It's not like I wasn't going to tell her eventually. So, who do you think the source was? If we being honest, Tiana. I know for a fact that Carter isn't the type to go running his mouth. It's not a coincidence that I told her I was messing with Ashley's ex, and that was all in the blogs. I just know people are going to make it a bigger issue than it is. Don't worry, girl. Fuck them people. Girl, I promise I don't care. I'm enjoying my life stress-free. Nobody could tell me who I can and cannot date. So have any of the other girls hit you up? As soon as the news got out, Lala called me. And I've been texting Jax. I don't have time to listen to someone whose man is still messing with his ex. There is nothing she can say to me. Until she fixes that issue, she can definitely mind her business. Girl, I could give two f**ks about what the media and my friends think. By now, people should know that Ivy does what she wants to do. If you need me at Tiana's event for your defense, just let me know. Let the drama begin. <laughs> So today I'm meeting with my manager to discuss my future with QC. I haven't been able to put on music due to personal reasons. So how's it going? Pretty good. I've been taking it day by day. Well, this will be your first EP under QC. I know there were issues with the producers and then you not wanting to work with certain people. Yeah, I just feel like my music is the only time I get peace. And once I feel like that's being disturbed, then we have a problem. People don't understand what goes on behind closed doors. I've been through so much with powerful people in this industry that have put me in bad situations. I'm just happy things are settled now. Okay, so the things we need to focus on is your new EP dropping. We need to promote, promote, promote so your fans can be expecting a tour at the end of the year. You have a few features from artists, one including Megan Thee Stallion. She sent over the song with an open verse for you. Yes, I'm so excited to finally get my career back. Yes, this year is going to be big. No time for the beef or back and forth on Twitter. Remember, you represent your brand. If you're always fighting online, people will view you as someone hard to work with. I know I have to learn to let things go. I'm working on myself. Maybe I need media training or something. A good look will be inviting Ashley. The two of you have exchanged words with each other over the internet. I know things got physical as well but it would be a great look to the public to see how you guys can be in the same room with no problems. Uh, I don't know. The way we let things, it was basically like, F you. Well, it wouldn't hurt to try, as long as the message was sent out there. I'll think about that one. Like I said before, I have no issues with Ashley. I already proved my point. She know not to f with me again. I'll send the invite, but if she doesn't show up, I don't care. I see great things coming, Tiana. The world would know of Big Flo's existence. Period. All you wanna do is gas me. How we end up in the backseat. Trying to get to the You know we had to come check on you. Yeah, it was only right. How are you? Honestly, I'm more pissed at Ivy. I could care less about Carter. Like, I know me and Ivy are going through something right now with our relationship, but this is low. Yes, especially for her. Like, how can I trust her if she did this to you? Do you think she was going to eventually tell you? Hell no. I don't know. 
But a friendship breakup hurts way worse than a relationship. Ivy was literally like my sister and she did this to me. If she cared about me or my feelings, she would even have to tell me about this because it wouldn't have happened. True. She said fuck me way before we had this issue. Y'all think this relationship between her and Carter is new? <laughs> nah, they been creeping. Probably when we were together. This is all too much. I feel like it's something new every day. It's always Ivy. She invited Tiana knowing it was a conflict between Ashley and I, and now she's messing with her friend's ex? Ivy is the problem. The best I can do is mind my business. I can only be there for Ivy and give her the opportunity to speak her truth. If anything, I just met Ashley. It's all about loyalty. That she doesn't have, obviously. So I'm assuming y'all aren't going to Tiana's listening party. Ivy is going to be there. I don't even know why she invited me. <laughs> She know I don't fuck with her, but I might just go so I can look Ivy in her eyes and call her a bitch. I don't know. I'm still deciding. What? You're still upset about Malachi and her meeting up? Yes. I blame both. He knew he was in a relationship and so did she. Why did either of them feel like that was okay? Come on. We're talking about Tiana. The no bars and run through ass rapper who don't have morals. I'm not even going to pretend like this won't end in chaos. And I'm here for it. Just no fighting, Ashley. You can handle someone with your words. Mmm, no promises. We all just need a vacation. I swear this drama is draining. Who are you telling? But I get active every time at any moment. Let's just hope tonight goes smoothly. Yes. You and Tiana need to settle your differences just like Ashley needs to settle hers with both Ivy and Tiana. This ain't no therapy session. My relationship with Tiana would never be nothing. We can be cordial, but that's it. And for Ivy, fuck that bitch. <laughs> When I invited the girls, I honestly didn't expect them to come. Maybe this is a step forward to being neutral. Hey ladies, thank you for coming. No problem. We're excited to hear the EP. Are we? Ashley and Jax, I know we have our problems, but y'all showing up says a lot. Mm. Yeah, sure. But do you mind if the two of us can talk? Yeah, sure. First, I want to say congratulations on your new project. Thank you so much. So as you stated before, we obviously have an issue that's never been resolved. It's no secret that Malachi has dated us both. Correct. I just need to know why you felt so comfortable meeting up with someone you knew was in a relationship. Oh goodness, here it comes. If I'm being blunt, I didn't care about you. Why should I? This is someone that I dated for two years. Students were still there for the both of us. So your mother raised you to have no self-respect? <laughs> See, that right there almost got you punched. No matter how my mom raised me, I'm a grown ass woman and I make my own decisions. What you need to be asking is what you were lacking that made him come to me. Why was he so comfortable getting in contact with me? I knew talking to Tiana would be like talking to a wall. At this point, it's obvious why her and Malachi were together. They're both trash. I don't know, maybe because you were accessible, easy. Since he barely wanted to tell me, and probably lied to my face. Did you two hook up? I don't know why women ask these questions when they know they're not going to like the answer. Yes. Okay, that's great. You two are obviously meant for each other. He's finally yours. Joke's on you. He was always mine. How did it go? She told me everything I already knew. That she's a worthless human being. I could have told you that. You didn't have to talk to her to figure that out. Well, at least they didn't end with fists being thrown. The night is still young. Hey ladies. Hey girl. Hey Jax. Ashley. Bitch, don't say nothing to me. <laughs> so you starting now. What do you think, we cool? No, I don't desire to be babe. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Please, the only person you disappointed is yourself and that ran through cat. Carter has no complaints. Oh no. Now Ivy, that wasn't necessary. You should have come in here to explain yourself and not attack her. Jax, please stay out of it. Y'all stop! Let her go. Ashley, you're such a weak ass hoe. That's all you know because your career ain't going nowhere. Tell your daddy, open my DM, baby. <laughs> you know how I
Let's go.